break, drone that beat going crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the MSR Workshop. So today we are outside on a pretty day and we are going to be trying out some casting. Um, we have got a little foundry here that I picked up. Um, this is actually my son's. He got it for his 13th birthday. And this is a Castmaster uh, GG 5000 uh, SH, which I believe stands for stainless steel. So what you get in the package are a pair of tongs of this particular model is one with two handles on it now they make some ones with hinges on them uh, i have never used one of these before so i can't comment on which one works better but i would speculate that this has a little bit of weight to it and if you have one with a hinge on it and these things are fairly small this hinge hanging out way out here might make this thing a little bit tippy so one that can come off completely might be a little bit more stable. It also comes with a quite large graphite melting pot. And I'm sorry, I don't know the actual kilogram capacity on this, but it's pretty big. It also comes with a regulator hose to connect to a propane tank. Now, one thing that I did is I connected it to this large braided stainless steel one that has a regulator on the one side that I can actually see the PSI that I'm putting out. While it's not necessary, um, it does make it a little bit nicer. So if you find that you, there's a specific temperature that works good for you, it might make it a little bit more repeatable. And it does come inside here is a little piece of fire brick that you want to set your crucible on. A couple things that you probably want to pick up that does not come with this particular kit, or we picked up a set of long leather gloves and I picked up a smaller crucible because I don't need something quite so big. Also, something else that I picked up is this little graphite mold here for maybe a couple little coins and a couple tiny little bars. So we are going to try casting some bronze, see how it turns out. Never, ever used this before, so cross your fingers and hope this turns out. All right, guys, so we're going to turn the gas on. And there she goes. And I did burn all the hairs off of my arm. All right, guys, so here is the first attempt at casting. It looks like bronze. There's quite a bit of sulfur content in this stuff. Um, of course, I'm not very good at pouring, so it looked like this. So we're going to go ahead and remelt it. But yeah, uh, pretty fun. So we're going to try a whole bunch of other stuff now. All right, guys, so let's talk about the Castmaster 5000 stainless steel. As you can see, we made a few fun things. re -poured a few times just to try some different things because obviously this is the first time that I've done this. One little observation I noticed with the brass, and yes, this is brass. I had to look it up afterwards because I was getting some weird yellow residue afterwards and some smoke. 
and it turns out that brass contains different chemical like zinc, uh, sometimes arsenic, and I think it can contain lead sometimes. So this happened to have a lot of zinc in it, and zinc fumes, if you know, are not really particularly good to breathe. So definitely recommend do this in a well-ventilated area. Obviously, I was doing it outside. I had a little breeze that was taking most of the fumes away from me. But I do definitely recommend wearing a mask. But be careful um, when you're working with metals that you don't know much about. I didn't know much about it, so I did have to look it up. All of the metals that we did use were particularly easy to melt. Didn't have any problems melting any of the coppers. The brass did take just a little bit longer, but still melted really easily. Now I'm still learning about this, so I don't know much about the different temperature settings. Now there are listed temperatures for the melting points of most of these metals um, on this little plaque on the front here. But figuring out what the internal temperature is, I, I probably have to get a heat gun. That's something that I don't have. The setting that I did end up using was I set my regulator at about 15 PSI and then it just opened up the air settings all the way and everything to, you know, seem to work quite well for that. Overall, I am really impressed with this. It worked really, really well. Have no complaints, uh, nothing that I would really change on it. Still do like the two-piece construction of this versus the hinged lid. I suppose if the hinged lid was on the back, so the weight's not tippy this way, but if the hinged lid came off the side, I would find that this tips over. I do recommend getting a graphite crucible. This was actually a particularly cheap one and it didn't stay graphite color looking so I'm not sure how long this one will last and then just get you some different forms or molds or something just whatever you want to play with but overall I am quite pleased with uh, the results and I'm gonna have to play with it more but always make sure you're careful wear face and eye protection especially uh, if you're pouring it over any weird things like pouring it in water or <laughs> pouring it over ice or just you know want to get some cool effects with this stuff because you don't know which metals are going to really violently react with a cold liquid. So yes, definitely get you some eye protection. This does not come with eye protection. And then just be aware of whatever metals you're pouring and the fumes that you might get off of it. If you guys have any tips, pointers, suggestions, or questions, be sure and leave them in the comments below. And thanks for subscribing.